everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a couple weeks since I filmed a video. I've been busy with work and I just had my 24th birthday. So I was hanging out with some friends because things are finally starting to open up in Michigan. I was able to go to a restaurant. It felt so weird to be served food and dine out somewhere after months of eating at home and cooking for myself. But I thought because of what came in the mail today that I would film a little unboxing and we have the new summer FabFitFun box. And I really enjoyed opening it up on camera last time and making a cute video with the products when I got the trial box maybe a month or two ago. And so now I have the summer edition. Funny story before I hop into opening this box. I thought that I was only going to be getting that trial box that was free with the $5 shipping, but I didn't cancel my subscription properly. And I got an email that was like, your summer box is coming soon. And you know what? Now here we are and I have another box to open and I'm not mad. I really liked the products last time. So this time I was able to customize some of the items in the box but I don't remember what they are. So it really is a surprise today. I'm a little sad because their boxes are always so pretty and this one got ripped in the transit process, but it's okay. As long as everything inside is fine, I'm happy. I'm going to stop rambling now and we are gonna open this box and maybe there'll be some products for us to try out. Maybe there'll even be some fashion accessories. Who knows? Without further ado, Let's open this box. So when we open it up, we have the FabFitFun catalog that comes in every box, which has description of the products and some other fun articles. We also have a gift card for Green Chef, which I believe is a meal subscription service. I never really do these, but my parents did one a couple years ago and the food was pretty good. There is also a $50 credit for Bright Sellers, which I know is an online wine ordering service. And I love wine, so maybe I will check this out depending on how much the wine costs. So let's get into the products. Let's see what we got, I'm so excited. So the first thing we have is a Hydro Peptide Moisture Reset Face Oil. Ooh. I've been wanting to try a face oil. I have really dry skin and I know face oils are really good for that. I love this box. It's like a holographic pink silver iridescent packaging. Let's see what the component looks like. Ooh, so pretty. So I think hydropeptide is the brand if I'm not mistaken. And this specific face oil is anti-wrinkle and restore. And it's just a little dropper applicator. Let's do the smell test like I do with everything. Just smells very natural. Look at the dropper. It's like a yellowish oil and I'm sure you just apply it like any other face oil, put it on your fingers, rub it on your skin. And I believe you're supposed to do the face oil before you moisturize. So here is our first product. This has flower extracts, avocado and pumpkin oils and rice bran extract. That sounds very fancy. So far, so good. Our next product is a Spongel hand cream and it's coconut verbena, yummy. And look at this cute packaging. There's some more iridescence going on. Maybe that's the theme this month. I don't know. Let's give it a smell. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put some on, there's a little safety seal. Let's see how this hand cream feels. But out in the sun, so my skin's a little dry, needs some moisture. Mmm, that smells so good. I really like this. This one is infused with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and argan oil. Nice, really hydrating ingredients. And I think this would be perfect to throw in my work bag or in my purse for when I need a little hand cream on the go. Let's see what we have next. We have a Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I've been really wanting to try this brand. It looks very high end and the products just seem like they're made with really good ingredients. So this is to soothe and moisturize and I really like it is a cruelty free product. So that is cool. Pretty little lavender box. 
maybe the theme is hydration this summer. Oh my gosh, so cute. There's like a little winking guy on the inside of the box lid. I love that. Oh, and it also comes with a coupon code for 20% off and free shipping. So that's kind of a surprise inside. Let's look at the little container. It's a cute little lavender container. And I don't want to open it because I don't want to break the safety seal, but I will let you guys know how I like it when I try it out. I'm always looking for a nice, good facial moisturizer because as I've mentioned 50 times already, I got some dry skin. So this will be something fun to throw into my skincare routine from Kate Somerville. Next we have, oh, I was not expecting this. We have a ceramic decorative vase from Isaac Mizrahi. I didn't even know that he does um, home goods. Look at this cute little box, it's got polka dots on it. Let's see what the base looks like. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I don't usually, oh, you know, when you touch ceramic and it gives you the chills that just happened to me so bad. I'm like very sensitive, so I'm gonna hold it around the glazed part, but I actually don't have a flower vase. I've been wanting to put more fresh flowers in my house just to like spruce things up, bring some life inside with my cat and I. And this is super cute. It's like a very organic um, kind of drip design with the glaze. And I am moving soon. My plan for my apartment is a really neutral color palette. So I think this guy will be perfect. Next we have something from Winky Lux. I've never tried this brand, but all their products seem super cute. And we have a brow product, I believe. Winky Lux eyebrow pencil. I hope it's my shade. I've actually never used an eyebrow pencil before, so this will be fun to try. Again, more shiny things. It's a gold component. Is it double-sided? Oh, sweet. So it has the spoolie on one end, which I do use a spoolie to comb through my brow gel. And then the other side is a twist up brow pencil and it has that triangle shape. Can you see? So I'm curious to see if this will be like thin enough to get a natural flick, but I am excited to try this. And they sent me the shade Unibrow. Oh, <laughs> it's the Winky Lux Unibrow Brow Pencil. And they sent me the shade. Do, 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 I don't know. What shade did you send me? I don't see a shade, but it's brown. And I have brown eyebrow hair. So there you go. Okay, so we got a mix of some home goods, some skincare, and some cosmetics. Next we have, oh, a satin pillow sleeve from Silked. And I actually have curly hair and I heard that Silk pillowcases are really good for curly haired people to sleep on. And I think it's actually good for your skin. So I'm curious about this. This is just actually a pillow sleeve which is interesting. It says it's designed to help retain moisture in your skin and hair so you wake up looking and feeling refreshed. And I think you just slip it over your pillow that already has a pillowcase on it. Oh, and it's like this pretty gray color. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but maybe I'll give it a try or I'll see if one of my friends wants it. I think we have one more product left. Oh, just kidding, we got two. What else? Oh! Sweet, I got a new beauty sponge, that's cool. And this is the Makeup Drop Hybrid Sponge. So it's got a silicone pad and then just like a regular blending sponge. That's really cool. And it is the same color as the Kate Somerville box. It's like that periwinkle lavender color. Why can I never open anything? Here we go, let's see what it feels like. I know it's dry, but. We can see if it has some good bounce. Oh, it feels pretty good. That's so weird to feel like that silicone patch on there because I'm used to it just being all sponge. So I don't really know what the benefit of having silicone on the sponge is. I guess it just doesn't absorb the product, but it has a nice point. So it'd be good to like blend out your concealer or even like get a sharp line if you're baking, which I've never done before, but this seems to be a good tool for it. And I'll give this a try when I put on my foundation next time. So now we really are to our last product, unless I find more things hiding in here. Oh, it looks like a bag from Drap, Drapper, Draper James, Trapper James, Draper James. I don't know, 
but it is this little woven bag. Let's open up the packaging. It looks like it'd be a good little pool bag. Oh, and it has a cute little scarf on it. That's adorable. This actually would be cute with the top I'm wearing. This is such a cute little bag. It's got a kind of metal um, magnetic snap inside for the closure. And then there's also a zipper pocket in there. But this is super cute. I think this would be good to like carry to the farmer's market or the beach or the pool. And it has a cute little scarf on it. And you could probably take this scarf off and use it in your hair or tie it on another bag or switch it out if you wanted something to match your outfit better. So that's all we have for today. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. That's a lot more than I was expecting. I don't see one of those cards that I got last time. So I don't know if maybe they just forgot to put it in or if the products are listed in the um, magazine. I'm trying to find it. You don't see the card so I don't know how much things cost or much about them but I can always look it up if I want. So hello from Editing Jess and I just realized that the FabFitFun magazine that came in the box does in fact contain information about each product as well as pricing but I was expecting the little card that I got last time in the trial box so apparently I did not look close enough. If you look through the magazine properly, you will see that there's um, a whole section on what's in the box with the possible total value of all the products, as well as product pictures, descriptions, and prices. So lesson learned. That was a really fun video. I'm excited to test out these products. I think I'm most excited about the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream because it just sounds very luxurious. I like goat cheese, so now I'm gonna put goat milk on my face, I guess. All right, that's enough corny jokes for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure as always to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all again soon. Bye.